hello guys so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to add this glow highlight and track a test to an object just like mr who's the boss does in most of his video so to create this you're going to be using a free plugin called Seba plugin it's free and i made a tutorial on how to download and install it so once you've installed it then you can come back to the tutorial so the first thing we need to do here is that as you can see i'm going to be using a video from marcus brownlee's tutorial to show this so i've splitted my video into three parts so i'll be adding the effect to the face of this watch i'll be adding a little highlight circle at the face of this watch so the first thing we need to do i'll and i'll be doing that on this middle layer here so i'll go down to the to the beginning of the layer then i'll duplicate it first then go down to my ellipse tool pick the ellipse tool and make sure you're drawing drawing a max and not a shape then just quickly zoom in here and draw max like this just big enough to cover the face then go back to the selection tool and align it properly then the other thing we need to do is that because the hand will be moving we need to track the hand and this there's no easy way to do it that i know of though so we have to do this manually so at the beginning of the of the timeline there hit this keyframe button here for max part then you have to go one frame forward each to track to align each of the 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 marks to where we want it to be so I'll just so to go one frame forward the shortcut for that is control then side key right side key to do this so i'm just going to speed this up So once you're done adding your your tracks or tracking your marks around the movement now we'll add a saber plugin to it so i'll use my fs console to bring in my saber you can use your fs and preset tab it doesn't matter so once it's there i have to go on top of it to see it you will see something like this you can choose so many presets from here there are so many presets that you can pick from so I'll just choose maybe fog randomly depending on what you want and then go down to customize core then choose layer then go down to render settings and make it transparent and now you can see a glow around our text here you can even change the color make it a bit lighter green like this and you can also animate it so at the beginning of our timeline here I will just go down to offset make it Put the keyframe there then move this to 100 if to clear the max then go go a few frames or a few seconds forward and bring it back down to zero and i'll just play through so that you can see what we have here so this is what we have two three years after the original one plus watch and it costs 300 bucks the next unit we are going to do again is i'll go down i'll just turn this layer off then i'm going to add a text to this the text that we're going to be tracking i'll just click on my text tool here then maybe just type in smart watch then reposition it just position it right here in the middle you can maybe scale it up a bit and make sure this is also at the at the beginning then i'm also going to I'll bring this forward there. then i'm going to create another create a null object like that so what you need to do is that right here on our vid2 i'm going to bring bring up my tracker so to bring up the tracker go down go to animation then go to track motion and here it is so we're just going to place this on somewhere with a lot of contrast like between this the end of two where there's white and black here let me just narrow this down and I'll just expand this like this around here. So to track this forward, all you need to do is press analyze forward. And you can pause and go back to adjust if it moves from your point. So I'll just click forward and so far it's aligning with where I I can pause. You can go one frame forward each if you want to adjust, but I'll just like this and our tracking is done 
So the next thing we need to do is that we need to edit our target, pick a target where we want our tracking data to go to. So I'll pick the null and click OK. Then click on apply. Then make sure it's X and Y. Then click OK. Now our null is has inherited that tracker. This those tracking data. So what I'll do is that our text layer here, I'll just print it to the null to null object. So I'll just play back for you to see. And I'll turn on my plugin here and play this back for you to see. So here is the final result. It is no exception. This is the OnePlus Watch 2, three years after the original OnePlus Watch, and it costs. So if this video was helpful, please kindly subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching and also share if you can. So thanks and see you in the next tutorial.